Hi Brad from WordPressSites.net This video is about uh, categories, uh, tags um, and slugs. Now it, uh, it took me a while to work this out because I've been focused on so many other things but you can't have the same slug and this is a slug here. Okay, This is a category slug you can also have post slugs and page slugs, and it's all linked part of your permalinks, which are your unique uh, URLs to each page, to each post, to each category, to each um, to each tag. You can't have the same name here. It has to be unique. Okay, so if you've got categories, if you've got tags, and if you if you name a page, say install WordPress, then you can't have a you can't have a category called install WordPress, you'd have to name it installing WordPress or a WordPress installation or something like that. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to get little numbers next to the uh, next to the slug. And, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Here is the problem that I've been having. Uh, install WordPress, you get two. And next time you uh, write a post to install WordPress, it's going to come up three and four. And I had the same problem with themes. Um, I, I had a page called um, called themes, and then I went and created a category called themes. And then because I wasn't because I've been writing so many posts, I, I named one of my tags uh, themes as well, and and it causes a big problem. So. There's a solution though, and I've worked it out, and I've, I've had a very good look on the internet for solutions at WordPress.org forum, at the WordPress.com forum, and I haven't found a solution. I've had to work it out myself. So, so I'll show you what it is. I've just changed one of them now, and I've worked out how to change them. You can't go into the category slugs and change them, and, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If you go under posts here, you've got categories and tags. Okay, let's let's just have a look at categories, and I'll show you what I mean. Now we go down here, and you see I've got two categories called install WordPress, and that's the reason one of them's got a little two next to it, which I don't want. It's not clean. It's 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 unprofessional, especially for me because that's, this is what I do for a, uh, for a living, and this is this is my passion. So. Of, uh, I'm, I'm working on all my little mistakes that I made when I first started out and uh, now you can't just quick edit this and change this it won't work <laughs> and I'll show you because I've already got one with install WordPress so if I try to update this uh, the, the slug install WordPress is already in use by another term so I can't do that so what I have to do is I have to transfer the posts that are assigned to this uh, category slug install WordPress 2 to this one here so I go into them individually or I can do the whole lot by bulk so I go into all posts and I search for all the posts that are under that category and view categories we go here and here I have here install WordPress and install WordPress okay so I filter them out now I've got two here um, what you can do is you can highlight both of them uh, bulk actions and edit or what you can do is just do them individually I think it's better off if you've only got a couple to do them individually. So you can see here I've got the problem here as well with this one. I've got a little two next to it. So what I do is I go down under categories here, deselect that one, and move down to the the one that's just simply installed WordPress that doesn't have a two on the end, and update. Now WordPress has got a built-in redirection um, system that will take care of this. Yeah, I, I don't think you have to install the WordPress redirection plugin and, and I'll test that and you can see that's changed, it's taken the two out but, I, but I've noted it before and, uh, and where is it? Install manually using a five step process. So here, here it is here and this is what it was like before, it had a little two next to it. 
Okay, so it's taken that two out and it's assigned it to the to the correct category. So I'll just test it. Okay, I've got one in here already. And that's redirected to the correct category now and it's exactly the same post. And I'll test this one which I've just changed. So we'll see whether this works. I don't have a redirection plugin installed. Uh, if you, you can do it if you want to do it, but I don't think you need to, as I've proven just there. So that works. That's how to solve the problem with uh, if you've got multiple uh, slugs, which are the same for categories, tags, and pages. As I said before, I'm, I'm cleaning up the little mistakes on my site. I'm trying to make my site a lot more professional. I'm adding some really nice images. I think that's made a huge difference, really nice images on each post. You only have to find one. So I've been working on that. But I've gone into Google Webmaster Tools, and if you signed up for Google Webmaster Tools, you can, f you can find a little, lot, of, lot of little problems with your site and fix them up. And I've noticed that I've got uh, duplicate HTML tags. Now this is pretty important for SEO. This needs to be fixed. I actually worked on it uh, yesterday a little bit, but I've still got a few here. And you can see here, we, we, I've just worked on install WordPress on the uh, the category slugs, and I've got another one here, install WordPress 3. So I've actually fixed that already, so it may take a few days to, to, uh, to, to uh, be removed from Google Webmaster Tools, because uh, Google, everything Google does is historical. They're a bit slow. I know they've just come out with Google uh, Live Analytics, uh, real-time analytics, but it's, uh, the Google Webmaster Tools uh, data is a bit, uh, it's a bit historical, so this should be fixed up here. But this is a good way to find out whether you've got uh, duplicate, uh, duplicate uh, tags, HTML tags, and you can check to see if you've got any slugs uh, in, your, in your post post tags. Uh, to see whether they've been duplicated in categories as well and you can easily fix them just using the method I've just explained to you so so this is a good little tip it's not not easy to find uh, the solution on the internet for this one so I've had to uh, work this out by trial and error just just another little tip before I go um, in, in respect of SEO um, I've, I've, I've realized that, uh, and, I, and I'll put it here under hosting because uh, I, I make uh, money as an affiliate um, referring uh, clients for hosting, but you can do this for all your categories and uh, you can put a description in here, a unique description that relates to the, the content of all the posts under that category, something that's like a general description, put a few keywords in there. Um, and you can do this for your, all your categories and this, this, this will help you, this will give you a bit of an edge for SEO on your competition that hasn't done it. So, so you can quite, quite easily go to categories under posts and you can come down here and uh, under description you can put a, a, f a few keywords in there to describe what the content of all the posts are under that particular category. So that will help you with SEO. So there you go, there's a couple, a few good tips for you, and good luck, cheers.